We got some breaking news. In response to shifts in daytime viewing patterns, PBS will reduce the footprint of children's shows on its primary national program service feed in February. AKA PBS Kids. The overhaul of PBS's weekday schedule earned discussion between PBS and stations for more than a year recognizes the ways that children are consuming media now and that fewer are watching linear TV, probably due to the focus of streaming. Many have moved to streaming platforms, said Sarah DeWitt, SVP and GM of Children's Media and Education for PBS. The PBS Kids 24-7 multicast channel also distributed as a streaming service where many kids and their caregivers are turning to catch PBS children's programs. This change also makes room for PBS to build on a strategy that has already helped many stations, adding general audience programs that appeal to adults who are watching linear TV. Beginning February 6th, PBS will feed 8 hours of children's programming on the daytime NPS feed from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's a reduction of 5 hours from the current schedule, which feeds PBS kids programs from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. PBS requires member stations to air at least 7 hours of kids programming each weekday, and that will not change when the new schedule works out. So... It's an end of an era. PBS Kids is going to cut their evening time slots. Given that they um, barely have the focus of 6 to 11 aim programming anymore ever since Arthur ended, Odd Squad ended its run, and likely Cyber Chase, and with a brand new overhaul with its new logo, old shows being removed, and, you know, other things that's happening... This truly is going to be something for PBS in its entirety. All stations might be affected from this, as they will cut down 5 hours of PBS Kids programming in favor of only airing from 6am to 2pm, aka school hours. Which is a shame, because... It happened before with Cubo, and now it's going to happen to PBS Kids after a long generation filled with years of children's programming. From the 6 to 11 demographic to the preschool demographic. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? This is quite shocking to hear about this. But, alas, all good things must come to an end. Anyway guys, this is Kawhi Life Antonio, signing off. Peace.